Uh, so I'm really interested to see how MT, a Spanish player, uh, how he faces against Louisiana's uh, Sea Falcon. And I've seen Sea Falcon play against other Falcons before. Yeah. Man's very well versed in this matchup. Yes. And this is one of those where it can be incredibly explosive in either direction. I feel like it's slightly Rosa Edge, but if Falcon gets that initial hit and gets rid of Luma, it's really, really hard to deal with just the raw power. But for the most part, it's going to be a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of jab three, a lot of rapid jab, and then up air to cover it. Like, Falcon has such a hard time getting past Luma. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, whew, man, that's definitely something that, gosh, never really, I, don't, I haven't really seen too much of. It's not too much Falcon B. Uh, Rosa, obviously, the main strategy is going to be try and get rid of Luma. Uh, but I, I do know Captain C Falcon is very well versed with playing without Luma. And as you see here, is not scared to do a footstool out of a combo. Yeah, and, it, and this is the tough thing about it is like, unless Falcon's getting those initial hits that he wants, this can be, this, this matchup can snowball so fast because it's not just the command of neutral that Rosa has. Even on offstage shenanigans, can, can, can kill Falcon and gimp him. 20, 30, 40% without even really breaking a sweat. Rosa's hitboxes are just so big and push out so far horizontally that Falcon has really struggled to come back against her. And yeah, we've had three yellow Lumas in a row, so. Lucky, lucky, uh, lucky start here, so for C yeah. Falcon. Let's see if we see more. We saw an up tilt from earlier. For those unfamiliar, both up smash and up tilt had head intangibility for Rosa. Uh, so, really, really excellent anti airs. Wow. I will say, this is where things start to get a little bit nervous because that happens. Whoa! He died at 75. What? I'm a god. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I was, I was just like, and this is where things get scary. <laughs> Bam, Raptor Bam. Boost. Dead at 70. Hey, but I mean, but yeah, it's, he used it's the rage while Falcon. he had it. And great pick from uh, MT. LOL. That I love that. Rapid, rapid jab against Fox, Falcon, and Falco can literally hold them for the first 30%. If you start with jab one from Rosa, by the time they get out, it's just like, 30%. man, this is uh, this is not fun for you, is it? <laughs> I love these short bears. Oh, he might be dead from this. Just, I don't know if he sets the ground, but wow. C Falcon just all over him. Okay, great fade back from MC. Trying to get rid of Luma, but C Falcon coming in to save the day. <gasps> Yeah, I think MT probably would have been better served with just the gentleman there because that will actually knock Luma into hit stun as well. Yep. That rapid oh. jab allowing C Falcon to grab him out of it. Oh, went for all of it. Oh. That soft up air is so, or that soft down air is so hard to deal with. Man. Because you have the hard down air, which will spike, spike. and the soft down air that will just kinda annoy you and put yeah. you in a bad position where you just can't up B from it. Yep. But uh C Falcon? Man. With the Beating gunners. up on Sea Falcon <laughs> and the Gunners, you're right. I like those. Just look, kind of matches like the uh, the accents of the shirt. Right. All right. Not opting for Lila. An interesting choice. That's a, for that's a curious game one. Game that's a curious one. game one. We're going to Town City. Interesting pick that I'm assuming he must have banned Smashville. That is one of my favorite things. He landed with a uh, reverse. Nair, uh, reverse Lunar Land Nair. Oh, wow. And so the back hit of Luma's Nair will actually pull you in front of Rosa. Really? And so you saw him get an immediate about 25, 30% because that back hit of the Nair will drag you in front just like that. Just like and that. at zero, you can do it into a grab. And at higher percent, you can do it in an up smash to finish. Oh, wow. Uh, Luma's dumb. It's great. Luma's dumb. <laughs> it's great. Well. Yeah, so. Luma's gone right now. A little bit curious if he was actually going for the footstool setup there. You saw him jump, yeah. try to be in position with Rosa, but she's so floating, it's so hard for Falcon. MT going for all of these two frames. He's dead. But it doesn't quite matter. He's going to get that kill off the side with a nice clean back air. One of the hard parts for Rosa's in matchup in general is getting up from ledge with the standard get up there. Luma actually extends the vulnerability hitbox of really? stand up. Oh, wow. And so it turns basically what would be normally be a, like a two frame situation into about a four or five frame situation depending Whoa. on the character. I do not think MT was expecting that Luma to be so far down low. Uh, well, that's very interesting. I didn't know that about yeah. Luma. Yeah, when, when Rosa jumps from ledge like that, Luma tends to stay in place and input jumps later. 
And so it's great in trump positions because they'll knock them out and it'll basically cover the fade back or the jump up. Uh, so you can either hit with Rose's back air or Luna's back air. Huh. Hot take. Rosa, kind of a good character. Yep. Okay. Empty trying to figure out a way in. Sea Falcon putting a pretty good little wall here. Those nares are so hard to deal with too yeah. because there's so little landing like after it and it's such a big move big that we box. saw MT try to jab, which would normally be a smart decision when someone's hitting your shield like that, but Rosa's already out of the way. Okay. Good up air nair, gonna get him off stage. And it looks like Rosa is in up air knee percent, so. Oh. No jump now. Yeah, it doesn't get that down air. It's the back hit of the Rosa down smash, though, which is the stronger part. And this is just easy coverage. Oh, wow. Every day of the week, That's baby. It. C Falcon takes it over Pratt, or er, L Pratt, MC. But a good, a good showing from the, you said the, the Spanish Falcon? Yes. He nice. is from Spain. Uh, Catalonia. Uh, Catalonia, so. which, not technically, well, is it technically part of Spain still? I think so. Yeah, I know there. I know there was a, a referendum to secede last. Really? Not. Not. No need to get into geopolitics <laughs> in the, in a, an 11 a.m. stream. But yeah. Right. Uh,